Hey guys, welcome to Show and Tell Toys. I have some really cool Disney Pixar cars to show you. These are the all new Carbon Racers, plus one special surprise egg, so stick around. So just like the really cool metallic racers, ice racers, and neon racers, now there are these really cool carbon racers. They have what looks like a carbon fiber body, and they look really awesome. So let's check out Raul Sarul. These racers are from the TROC, which is the Transcontinental Race of Champions. And they are all 155 scale die casts made by Mattel. Next is Lewis Hamilton. And now, Nigel Gearsley. This Max Schnell is really cool. Check out that cool yellow detailing around his car. And the next one is Miguel Camino. And finally, Lightning McQueen. And now let's see what's inside this green surprise egg. This is gonna be great. Who do you think it is? It is all right. It's Rip Klutchgonski. Check out that carbon racer body. That's really cool, isn't it? And here is a comparison between the regular World Grand Prix racers and the Carbon racers. Pretty cool, huh? These 
carbon racers are awesome. Which one do you like the best? Leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button too. Well, that's it for this episode of Show and Tell. Check out my channel for other Disney Pixar Cars videos and for more exciting toys. Okay, so here is the brand new track from Mattel for the all new Carbon Racers. This is the double lane dual racetrack used for the T Rock Racers or the Transcontinental Race of Champions cars. Max Schnell invites his fellow racers to Nuremberg, Germany to take on the world's toughest track. This track has a really cool jump to start off, and then it's a hairpin turn before the straightaway, and the first one of the finish line wins, and the second place gets diverted to a different direction. Okay, so let's open this up and check it out. Don't forget about the Carbon Racer Lightning McQueen in the box. This Carbon Racer is a lot lighter than the die cast Lightning McQueen. Okay, there's a lot of pieces to put together, so let's do it. Alright, it's all together and time to check it out. Look, there's a cool jump at the start and then around the curve and down the straightaway right to the trophy. Okay, so let's test out this track a few times and then we'll have a race tournament and see who is the fastest on this track. So as you can see, if you come in second place, you're going to get diverted and you won't make it to the winner's circle. Oh man, Nigel crashed and he's stuck. Okay, let's use some of the other story set track pieces to help the loser be diverted down a track and back to the starting line. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the double lane dual race. There are eight racers to compete in this event. And here is how the tournament bracket is set up for round one. Lewis Hamilton and Diecast Lightning McQueen will race first then Miguel Camino and Nigel Gearsley, then Max Schnell and Plastic Lightning McQueen, and then Rip Clutch Gonski and Raul Sarul will race last. Okay, so round one is Lewis Hamilton and Lightning McQueen, and Lewis Hamilton wins. Okay, round one, second race, Miguel Camino and Nigel Gearsley. Who's gonna win in this race? And Nigel Gearsley crashes in on his side and he wins the race. Okay, the third race in round one is Max Schnell and Plastic Lightning McQueen. Oh, they both crashed. We better do that race over. And Plastic Lightning McQueen wins the race. 
The last race in round one is Raul Sarul and Rip Klutchgonski. And Raul crashes on the way down and Rip wins the race. Okay, on to the second round. It's Lewis Hamilton versus Nigel Gearsley and Plastic Lightning McQueen versus Rip Klutchgonski. Then in the loser's bracket, we have Diecast Lightning McQueen versus Miguel Camino and Max Schnell versus Raul Sarul. All right, round two, race one, Lewis Hamilton, Nigel Gearsley. Who's gonna win this race? And Lewis Hamilton takes the win. Okay, Plastic Lightning McQueen versus Rip Klutchgonski. And Rip takes the win, Lightning McQueen crashes. Okay, in the loser's bracket is Diecast Lightning McQueen versus Miguel Camino. Who's gonna win this race right here? And it's Miguel Camino all the way, Diecast Lightning McQueen crashes. Okay, last race of round two, the loser's bracket, Max Schnell versus Raul Sarul. And Raul takes the win easily. Okay, we've had a lot of great competitors today on this carbon racer track, but it comes down to the final four. Is it going to be Lewis Hamilton, Rip Klutchgonski, or Miguel Camino, or Raul Sarul for the win? Okay, for this semifinal, the racer must win two out of three races to move on. Lewis Hamilton versus Rip Klutchgonski. And Lewis takes the first win. And after a lane change, Lewis wins the second race. He moves on to the finals. And here's the replay. Look how he passes him on the outside. And for the semifinal of the loser bracket is Miguel Camino and Raul Sarul. They're coming in. Oh, Raul crashes and blocks Miguel. We're going to have to do that race over. Okay, going again. Second race. And Miguel Camino takes the win. And this is the best two out of three races. And this time, Raul Sarul takes the win. It comes down to one last race. The best two out of three races. Who's going to win it? Who's going to go on to the finals? And Miguel Camino comes in lightning fast, wins the race. Raul Sarul crashes and doesn't even make it there. And it comes down to this, two carbon racers, Lewis Hamilton and Miguel Camino, who will be crowned the champion of Nürburgring. In this championship series, there will be five races, and the car with three out of five wins will win the Nürburgring trophy. And here's the first race, and Lewis wins and starts off strong. And after a lane change, here is the second race. And Lewis wins the second race, he's two for two. And on to the third race, and Lewis wins, and must be feeling it today, because he is just dominating Miguel Camino. And by race rules, Lewis is the champion, but let's race five races and see what happens. Oh no, and we've got a crash on the straightaway. Miguel isn't giving up that easily. Okay, let's race again. And Miguel is just left in the dust by Lewis's afterburners. And again, Miguel is just fighting to the finish. He's not going to give up. And one final race, and Lewis hits the turbo boost and wins again. And Miguel crashes and doesn't even finish the race. It looks like Lewis Hamilton from Great Britain is the winner of this Nürburgring track and would like to thank Max Schnell for inviting him to Germany for this great race. This racetrack is a lot of fun and you can have so many races on it. Who is your favorite carbon racer? Was it Lewis Hamilton? Because he's really fast. Well, that's it for this episode of Show and Tell. Make sure you check out my channel for other Disney Pixar Cars videos and for more exciting toys. There's a little off-road Lightning McQueen, and there's a big off-road Lightning McQueen. There's a little Lightning McQueen Hawk, and there's a big Lightning McQueen Hawk. And now there's a little carbon racer, and there's a big carbon racer Lightning McQueen. But this is a turbo RC controlled one. This car's a lot of fun. So here is the Carbon Fiber Turbo Lightning McQueen, and it comes with an infrared remote control. Let's check out this little Carbon Fiber one first. This is a 155 scale Lightning McQueen, and here is the big one, which is around a 124 scale Lightning McQueen. So let's get him out of the box and check him out. And it 
it comes with a remote control that has forward, reverse, left and right and has turbo power. And here's a size comparison between the little carbon fiber and the big carbon fiber Lightning McQueen. Okay, let's put batteries in the remote and in the car. The button on top turns them on or wakes them up to the infrared remote. When you steer on the remote control, Lightning McQueen also moves his eyes left and right. Whoa, look at that power. This really is a turbo Lightning McQueen. He looks fast. Okay, let's take Lightning McQueen for a test drive. Whoa, he's really fast and he's hard to keep track of on the camera. And he's really hard to drive too. Okay, let's take him outside before he crashes too hard. Look at Lightning McQueen go! He's doing backwards driving! I bet Mater taught him that. Lightning McQueen has lots of power and can drive really fast, but I don't think he's supposed to race outside. Let's take him to a gym instead. Oh yeah, he is fast and can turn really sharp too. He's so fast it's hard to keep up with him. And he can also do donuts too. This Turbo Lightning McQueen is fast and fun. This Carbon Racer Turbo Lightning Queen is really fun to play with, but you do need some extra space to have even more fun with them. Well that's it for this episode of Show and Tell. Make sure you check out my channel for other Disney Pixar Cars videos and for more exciting toys. Do you like seeing really cool and exciting toys? Then click on the video that just popped up at the top of your screen. So make sure you subscribe to stay updated to see really awesome toys from the Show and Tell Toys channel. See you there!